Here is how to use Stable Diffusion for free in your browser. This is running on Google Drive, which means you don't need any technical skill and it doesn't use any of your hardware. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So I have linked this page in the video description and let me show you how to use this. It is super easy. So when you come to this page up here where it says RAM and disk for me right now, there's a connect button. Click on that and wait for the connection to happen. You might get a warning box that asks you if you really Really want to connect just verify that and wait for the connection then scroll down and you see some code here that says nvidia smi so click here on the play button and again wait for the green hook to happen next we have to run through the setup this will ask you to connect to your Google Drive. Don't worry, this is not going to steal any of your data. This is a safe project, but this will take some time to download. But the good news is this is not downloading on your computer. It's not using any of your resources. This is going to be installed on the Google service. But the downside here is this will shut down after some time. So you have to reload the page and do this process again. So if you are leaving this idle for some time without usage it will disconnect and if you use it for too long it will also disconnect click on that play button here and let it run through it takes some time just wait until you see that green hook here after this is done the magic happens go down here where it says render images here you can enter your text prompt with everything you want to have in there then below that it says prompt file to be honest, I haven't used that yet. But below that you have steps, which is the quality. So it actually describes here what that is. This is pretty good. So you have a slider here for the image quality. Then you can also enter a seat. Zero means random seat. The number of iterations, this is really amazing. Iterations means how many variations you want to have. This is always rendering the full picture and then also upscaling it. This is so amazing. So you can slide this up to 100 iterations. So you can put this on and just let it run and have a coffee and go for a walk, come back and have 100 pictures on your Google Drive. And then below that you have sliders for the width and the height in pixels. This is the initial image size, but after that you can also upscale it. So here it says scale for the slider, but the upscale actually happens down here. You have different ways to upscale that so you can experiment with them. And then also you have an upscale amount. Now in here says if you use the ESRGN, then you can only support to upscale four or eight. But the most important thing here is this is automatically upscaling the images for you. Now here is the next awesome thing. When you look here, this is saving into a Google Drive folder on your Google Drive. So you can specify the name or just leave it as it is. And then not only do you get all of the images with the original size, but then also with the upscale size, but you also get a text file that shows you the prompt that you have used and the other settings in here, including the seed you have used to render this image. And this is happening for all of the images that you are creating in here. So this folder is slowly filling up and you don't have to worry losing any of these images. So that's pretty amazing. When you scroll a little bit lower, there's also some more advanced stuff here like diffuser experiments, text to image method, and you can also install this offline, but then it's going to use your own resources. So when you're a beginner, use this up here and you get really amazing results. That's how easy it is. Subscribe for more AI tutorials and thank you for watching. Bye.